Hello, and welcome, and welcome, and welcome. We're doing that solo challenge thing that we do. Uh, we're doing pretty good for dailies this week. I mean, I say that after just having missed the Monday, but like you know, we're doing we're doing a thing. We're doing we're doing something. Uh, Phobolog is cool, except we don't got a way of being from a thorium asteroiding, you know, and that's. That's lame, because this would be a really great card. Also, is there anything to do with... No. Oh, there is special design, though. No, wait. I don't need special design. The other one... <laughs> Methane from Titan needs 2% oxygen. So I was like, oh, special design. Oh, yes. Uh, no, not required. I mean, you could even Protected Valley and just copy that's production to get up to 4 production on the first turn. It's not awful. Get a little bit of science, get a little bit of this. And maybe even a lava flow. We're grabbing a lot here, but it's not it's not the end of the world for me. We have an energy income, so we can try and go for development center next turn. 18. I mean, this is three income. So I think I'm just gonna throw it down. Um, and instead of going, I mean, there's so many things here to go for, but I think I just want the steel because I know I have a building tag I want to play. We have enough to play the development center now. We have a little bit of income. Not what we wanted. Steelworks? Steelworks could help a lot, but this isn't really where I was going with it. Let's, um... No, Steelworks is... It's worth holding on as Thorgate... It's worth holding on to Steelworks because if ever we do get a bunch of energy cards, we're going to want to play them and then we want to use that energy for something good. So we'll go ahead and we'll just robotic workforce our protected valley for two more income. It's not it's not awful. It's not great, but it's not awful. So now we have four income and a card draw every turn. Hard to say that we're ahead or behind or anything like that, but at least we're picking up a bunch of ocean events. I don't know what I'm doing with this turn otherwise, though, right? I can grab two cards. We can draw a card for our energy. Mass converter, you don't say. Okay, so now we need three more scientific tags. Uh, but for now, lava flows is two heat bumps, and that will get us a little bit closer. So we'll play that here. Micro mills, honestly, worth worthwhile card to get for free. The hardest part about micro mills is paying money for it. Oh, optimal arrow breaking. Now we're cooking. Uh, immigration shuttles would be fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Let's draw another card. I don't think I was offered a science tag just now. Uh, let's, this time, subtraining. We're kind of just terraforming because terraforming is giving us TR and TR is pushing us along. Um, but I mean, everything's fine. We're not doing great. Drawing lots of cards, though. Uh, and we have a little bit of income, so we're kind of doing okay. Like, we're not just losing flat out. Uh, this energy could be helpful. Keep drawing a card. Alright, so three energy or four heat production. Five dollars for another heat production is a little bit steep, but it's better... We may as well get the heat now. I don't know where I'd put it though, just for two plants. I'd probably grab the titanium. Let's go ahead and grab the titanium at the bottom. That's fine. We get a little bit back when we play this card. It's fine. Once we have a discount on space and then optimal arrow breaking, some of these cards are going to start looking like popping for us. So there is still a chance for this run. It's just uh, it's being slow. All right, there we go. Energy tag should be good. Ocean is good. Investment loan. All this stuff is good. It's all good. In fact, I'm probably going to take the investment loan now. It'll let us get a couple more things out the door. So we take the investment loan. Oh. Oh, I was wrong. I thought that I had enough money to get this, but I was actually missing the energy tag. 
So we have to get this energy tag, and now I'm missing a dollar to play carbonate processing, uh, which is not acceptable. But I don't want security fleet, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so a little bit sad. Like, we could have gotten pets at one point. That would have been an Earth tag, but we don't have two Earth tags, so it's not like we're very close to space hotels one way or another. Is what I was looking at. So now we have eight heat production. That's quite nice. So that's going to start picking up. Med lab is another scientific tag. And archaea bacteria is helpful. Gets us up to three science tags. And three building Three dollars worth of building tags. The plant income would be nice. Space tags. We don't actually have like any. So we're going to leave satellites. Let's keep drawing cards because that's what we're doing and it's going okay. Knock to city, not bad. I'm pretty broke, it turns out, but that's fine for now. The plant income seems good, but I think I'm going to keep pushing energy just for a moment here. Because that also got us a science tag, right? So now we have one more science tag here. So that gets us to four. So one more after that and we get mass converter and then we have so much energy. Well, there's research, so never mind. Um, and I could grab other stuff, but that might just slow me down. Like food factory, I could play that after playing Archaea Bacteria, but that just seems misguided. So we're gonna draw a card first just in case. Uh, I don't mind Martian rails by any means. This is minus 18, so we got to be careful with our Archaea bacteria. But first, we're going to research. Let's look at what we got. More science tags, more wild tags. That's fine. Mass converter. Very good. Um, and I have enough for Archaea bacteria because I didn't buy extra cards. So we'll just play that before we wreck it. And I have titanium. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we might start playing some of those space events because now we're going to get money back, heat back, all that stuff going on. All this is fine. This would actually allow us to play our uh, beam from Athorium, but at this point we're so far behind on that that I don't think it's worthwhile. I think we're just going to let this one die. And we're going to try and get that big asteroid down. Ooh, space mirror is nice. But if I place this, it should leave me enough for big asteroid. And then we get $3 back and three heat back. We get a couple more heat bumps. And all of a sudden, we've actually killed the heat. So we're mostly just getting the money back benefits from playing other cards. Uh, imported hydrogen is nice. And space mirror is not required. Okay, that's how I'm going to look at it. Now, if I grabbed three plants, that gets me up to four. I can't get high enough, so I'm just going to go up here and just grab another card. Space Elevator. I don't hate Space Elevator. But I kind of hate it because we don't have any steel production, so we can't sell anything. Industrial Microbes is a cool card, but it's not what we're after. Plantation helps us with our oxygen, which is a problem. We have so much energy now that we are absolutely overdoing it. But... That's fine. Oh, Steelworks. What was I thinking? I have Steelworks. I'm crazy. We should have been Steelworks. And now I think I can almost... I think I want to med lab for reasons. I have four income worth of it. So we're going to make a profit on it. And that leaves me enough to get Heather. So next turn, we got a greenery coming down. We have plantation with Noctis City here. We can greenery up and around it. We probably want to put an ocean down before Noctis City. Underground City is not bad. It at least uses our energy. Insulation. Yo, that's actually a great draw for us. Usually insulation's like not great because you're just catching up on the heat. But um, for us, we can borderline just do it all right now. Invention contest is compelling. Capital or events money? Events money is nice, but right now it's only breaking even. 
Uh, we're just going to take the capital for that long-term ocean placement. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I want the underground city, but I usually don't get enough cities going on, and that's a problem. Let's place it here beside Noctis City, where it's going to be. Mm, just get a bunch of granaries around it. Martian... We're not using the energy, right? Well, the thing is right now, it's hard to predict how much to use insulation. Like, like we have a free heat bump here. We have like uh, another three heat from here. We have 10 coming over a couple times. I, I'm borderline safe in saying that we can just change all our heat production over. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the chance without even doing the math. Just there you go. We'll take uh, 10 income, please. Now, if I sell something, which I have a lot of options to sell, um, say, I mean, Martian rails could end up being worthwhile. I'm just going to bribe committee here for a second. Martian Rails, I could play, and it's getting me $3 for an energy. I could do it four times. It almost pays itself off, but it doesn't without getting more cities. Sure, we might get Noctis next turn, but still, we're in the range where it's barely paying off. So let's just get actual income here from a plantation placement. Done. Iron works. All right, well, that's going to... Oh, so I guess never mind. I shouldn't have screwed over my energy production. If I'm going to be doing that to get my oxygen, then that's a problem. Is it a problem? I don't know if it's a problem. I had so much heat one second ago, and now I'm like, oh, do I even have enough heat? There's Noctis City. That gets us the oceans we need to play moss and nitrolithic moss, but let's draw a card first. And we will do a little bit of heat pumping or oxygen pumping. Lake Marineris. Fantastic draw. Always so nice to find Lake Marineris near the end of a game instead of getting it early when you're like, oh, am I going to buy this and hold on to it all day? You don't have to with Lake Marineris, it's there for you. So that's nice. Um, I can't get enough plants through my placements to place both of these. I guess I with capital coming. But no, I think I'm going to take a second here. And we're going to play out our card here. And our card here. And then everything else is just meh. Like I should just sell cards. Oh, well, the, you know what? If I did do that oxygen bump, it would have gotten me uh, some good stuff there, wouldn't it? Nah, 14 bucks. I could buy a heat bump, but then it, that just flies in the face of everything I did earlier. Um, I do like decomposers and stuff, but not required. I like advanced alloys, but we don't have any metals, so we're going to hit done. I mean, I, yes, I have four steel a turn, but... Just gonna let it die let it die so there's another heat bump so maybe we are fine with the heat it's such a hard thing to to figure out here i thought i had another o i mean i do have oceans but i thought i had more oceans we have a lot of things going on here that are good let's take all that steel Oh, we're so good on the heat. We just got a space event that's going to basically do it right now. Imported GHG. So that's good. We just placed the capital, which was quite nice. Getting more money back from space events. Oh, I could have done the regolith eaters. I forgot that I had a two... Um, I have a card in hand. that or I have... This arrow break demonia. It wouldn't have been worth it just for one oxygen bump, though. The greenery's worth more points, right? Um. Let's 
So we're going to need to play one space of that next turn, though, to get the heat. So this might be a heat bump, but, I mean, even with the discounts, it's still better to just buy the heat bump. I did risk it for the biscuit on that play. Okay. Well, I also need oceans. I'll get one ocean. That gets us enough plants to place here. And as long as we get this last ocean, I can place beside it. Hopefully we're not unlucky and get, like, ice asteroid or something that would have put two down. No, we're good. We're good. Lava tube settlement is perfect, though. Trees is really just fine. It's good. Arguably, though, it's better just buy the greenery. Yeah, we'll just do that. So draw a card, pump the oxygen. We didn't get a space event. Oh, that, that's actually kind of killer for us not getting the space event. Um, and I still need the oxygen. Well, let's uh, do the aquifer here. Followed by the greenery here. Gets us lots of money back. And a greenery beside our city. So that's complete. So we just need to buy... Yeah, we just need to buy this heat bump. It's, it's poopy, but it's fine. And then... We get a bonus greenery in the bonus phase. After I buy a lava tube settlement. For three points. I have 30 something dollars, right? Hmm. Right? This is a two point city. This is a two point city. This is a point. And this is a two point space elevator. Which, had I played my cards correctly, I could have played it and then sold the steel. So it could have been worth like 22. Because I would have made a $3 profit on selling the steel instead of using it on the building. Um, but a greenery is worth two points. Uh, but then my cities are cased in. So, yeah, I guess a city here just makes the most sense. I can't create much more value. I have cl clicked all the clicks. Okay. So, city here. Before doing anything, let's sell, sell, sell. Just to see if we have enough money to, like, buy something. $21. See, this is a little killer for me. Because I'm like, oh, if I had placed a greenery here, I would have made two extra dollars. And those two extra dollars could have gone into the city. And then I'd have two dollars left and I wouldn't have enough to place this. Or no, I would because I had a... Uh, uh, titanium. Oh, that's that's kind of brutal. So that would have been another two points if I had played things correctly. Because I could have put the granary here for four dollars, let alone the steel. Um, okay, well, is what it is. Passing on, we get one more granary. I was gonna put it here, I'm not gonna kind of take that away from that poor city placement and there we go thorgate one of my guilty pleasure corporations i do really enjoy thorgate uh but it's not that good now, people tell me it's not that good i believe them but i like it i like it some sometimes sometimes there's a chance we didn't lose we didn't lose i hope you enjoyed i'll see you next time chat for now